Hey everyone, Gravity here. Before the video begins, I simply ask that if you enjoy my content, to hit that subscribe button below. Nowhere else on YouTube are you going to find a Battlefield player who's played with teams competitively since Battlefield 1942, nearly 18 years ago. Don't forget to subscribe, and please enjoy the video. So a few major announcements happened recently which have sent the Battlefield community into its usual dog-chasing-its-own-tail style of overhype and speculation. While I despise rumors and what-ifs, it is clear that EA's move to throw everything at the development of Battlefield 6 by reassigning Criterion Games to it is a major story. The reason for this stems from the fact that Criterion was responsible for Firestorm, the Battle Royale mode for Battlefield 5. While unconfirmed at this point, a Battle Royale game mode for Battlefield 6 seems incredibly likely for several reasons. The huge success of Call of Duty Warzone, the frustratingly enduring popularity of the Battle Royale game type, Criterion's history with Firestorm for Battlefield, and EA's desire to salvage the Battlefield brand. This video is meant to discuss what is required from a Battlefield 6 Battle Royale game mode if it is meant to succeed, or even just compete with Warzone. Number 1. First and foremost, it must be standalone. The failure of Firestorm in Battlefield 5 happened for many reasons, but among those at the top is the fact that very few players bought the game exclusively for Firestorm. If anything, it was the usual Battlefield player who dabbled into it a few times and got bored and went back to Conquest. Battlefield's BR mode, whatever it might be, must have a separate client from the main game. It should act as a gateway for new players who are unfamiliar with Battlefield to enjoy the Battle Royale mode, and then to purchase the full game to experience everything else Battlefield 6 has to offer. And incentivize it by including a substantial amount of skins and content for the BR mode with the full game purchase. Number 2. On that note, to be a real gateway game mode, it must be free to play. The full experience of Battlefield 6 Battle Royale mode should be playable to everyone, with purchasable content consisting of models, skins, and hell, even a few non-overpowered weapons. Speaking of which, I'll take this moment to say that the standard Battlefield 6 game should not include these unique player models or characters or whatever the hell you want to call them. Battlefield 6 should go back to the standard character models and focus itself entirely on gameplay, optimization, and debugging, and leave the skins to the Battle Royale mode. That being said, these custom skins and characters that were featured in Battlefield 5 are totally fair and a great thing to include in a Battle Royale game for Battlefield 6. Number 3. An insanely strong anti-cheat system is required for Battlefield 6 Battle Royale mode. This should go without saying, but I am talking about Battlefield here. And if you have ever played Battlefield 1 or Battlefield 5, you know how absolutely terrible DICE is with dealing with cheaters. Cheating in a standard Battlefield game is a pain in the ass to deal with as it is, but the game mode there isn't to survive to the end. In a Battle Royale game, it is, and having experienced several cheaters while playing Firestorm while it was active, it proves how notorious this problem is. In February of this year, Activision gave an update that they had banned 60,000 accounts in one pass that month, and had banned over 300,000 cheaters in the game since launch. DICE always fails to give us numbers nor do I have the slightest confidence that they have the technology needed to compete with Warzone's anti-cheat system, which is by no means perfect and still has plenty of cheaters. This is a huge obstacle to overcome with a AAA BR title, and DICE, EA, and whoever need to make this priority number one. Number 4. The gameplay of a Battlefield Battle Royale mode must have strong mechanics and fairly fast gameplay. There must be some unique feature or element which differentiates it from Apex and Warzone. More importantly, despite it being Battlefield, it really should not have tanks in it. Firestorm proved that it was a pain to deal with, and that was slow World War II tanks. 
This BR mode must also have a refined loot and pickup mechanics. Items should be easily identifiable both on the ground and in your inventory, and your inventory should be a clean, easy to understand UI. Number 5. A Battlefield 6 Battle Royale mode must have a way to revived downed squadmates. This is one of the most appealing features of both Apex and Warzone, and keeps players engaged. Downed players who can't be revived tend to leave the games, abandon teams, and get bored when playing with friends after waiting 20 more minutes for the game to end. Not having a revive system in this day and age would be a terrible decision. Lastly, in what I hope is the plan, but yet again I have little faith, a Battlefield Battle Royale mode, which is standalone, must, must, must have its own standalone patches, updates, and content drops. It needs to be updated constantly. It needs to be patched constantly. It needs to be optimized, have the anti-cheat updated, ban waves of players, fix game-breaking weapons, everything constantly. Battlefield is a series in which the patches can come every two or three or four or even five months at a time. A Battle Royale game cannot wait that long. Time and time again, the updates for Firestorm were mostly rolled out combined with the main Battlefield 5 patches, something that definitely hurt its reception. And then, there of course is the Criterion question. We know it was announced that Criterion was in the early stages of development for a new Need for Speed game, and that was put on hold so that they could assist with the development of Battlefield 6. We also know that the same studio delivered much of the Firestorm Battle Royale mode for Battlefield 5. However, once Firestorm was released, responsibility for content, updates, fixes, and everything else quickly shifted away from Criterion and back to DICE Sweden after about three months. This substantially hurt Firestorm, as little to no new content came its way. Updates were heavily scaled back, and patches were tied to the main game. The question becomes, if Criterion is once again working on the Battle Royale portion of Battlefield 6, how long will they support it before handing the reins back to another studio? Which, if BF5 was any indication, already had their hands full. A Battle Royale mode is its own game and one that, as far as support goes, was really half-assed last time. Total support for this BR mode needs to be given for years if it is meant to succeed in proving all the naysayers wrong, including Battlefield fans.